so should you invest up yours hi everyone my name is josh harrison welcome to this video and welcome to the channel particularly if you're new here for the first time and a very warm welcome from rebecca and i and the children if you are one of the ones who have recently hit subscribe and join us we do hope that we can be of value to you so this question then should you invest up north have you considered it now this is a question the context of this is we had a, a zoom call booked in with a guy called paul who lives over towards birmingham and we had a Zoom call and ahead of it at the time I said if you've got questions feel free to send them over to us and what happened in the days and even in the closing hours right up until the call started which was at the start of 8pm on the Friday evening um, I had questions come through and one of the questions was have you considered investing up north and that call finished about 20 past 11 in the evening a really interesting conversation really really good really quite encouraging to think how much thought had been put into the questions and our answer to Paul was, um, yes, we have considered it, but no, we haven't done it yet. So we might consider doing it at some point in the future. Now, just to clarify then, north, of course, is going, to be, is going to mean different things to different people, depending on where you are right now watching this and where you're based. But our view right from the start was, we're based in Nottingham, we're going to invest where we are, a 10 mile radius from where we are. And the reason for that is, you know, you need in property to buy houses and you need to find money. You either have the money yourself or you need to find them to go and do it. But the most precious resource is not the money, the most precious resource is the time. And think about it, right? If you're investing for long-term capital appreciation, and think about it this too, if you are gonna buy terraced houses and have a small amount of cash flow every month, the, gen the, the, the bulk of your um, income, a long-term wealth, is gonna come from capital appreciation. So you want to be doing that sooner rather than later. Makes sense, doesn't it? You want to be buying your house this week or next week, not this month or next month or next year or the year after or five years later because that capital appreciation is all going to be going because someone else. So if you are looking for capital appreciation, then you need to start that soon. So time is really, really important. So we've got houses near us. So we thought, well, we're looking at 10 miles from where we are, we'd find our practice, we'd do our air analysis, which is a whole separate episode. And we found houses that we could buy now. We didn't think there was much value really, although people do make it work, yes, of course, we're talking about us and our situation, that was our question to us. Rather than travelling 100 miles north, 200 miles north, you know, 200 mile, 400 mile round trip, perhaps passing other really good suitable investment areas to go and find these houses much further away. So that was to find houses. It's going to take a lot more time, arguably, to go and do that. Also, you're then perhaps not going to do as many viewings and as a natural consequence of that, you're perhaps not going to have a great, as great a relationship with your estate agents. Now, some people turn around and say to me, yes, but look, I can do direct to vendor, I can do Facebook ads, also fine. But I'd much rather, our stance is, I'd much rather have a good relationship than a good deal. I need good relationships with estate agents, I need to be visiting them frequently and doing lots of viewings. The viewings of today with deals of tomorrow. So we thought we'd invest locally 10 miles from where we live. The other component though, as we said at the beginning, was it's not just about the houses, you need money. Again, okay, our strategy is quite um, labour intensive in a sense, but in the long term, it really does pay dividends. We like to have our investor discovery days with investors that we can actually take to patch, show them around, drive them around the area, ideally showing them a refurbishment, taking them in, or walking around a potential property we're thinking of buying uh, with the estate agent, which was also done. Again, that's going to be much more difficult to build a relationship if you're going to have to do a 200 mile, 400 mile round trip to go up north somewhere, when you might be passing very good areas along the way. So the answer to the question is, yes, we have considered up north, but we haven't yet. We got to a point where we got financially free, I don't really like that term, but I think everyone understands what, what we mean by that, where our outgoings were covered by our, our income from assets, and now we might consider different areas and slightly different strategies and so forth. So would you consider up north? Would you disagree with this? What are your thoughts? Feel free to share them in your comments below. But our view is if you're gonna to want to get started and get a couple of appreciation working on your side, you need to be starting now, not um, an extra amount of time in the future. Thank you for watching this, we really appreciate it. If you could just give us a thumbs up if you found it helpful, then that'd be massively appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed, then you, our, our um, warm invite to you is hit the subscribe button and join us. And if you hit the bell notification icon, you'll be notified of when we release that video, which are typically Mondays and Fridays. That's it for this one. Thank you to all of you for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.